Fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Welcome back to the build. Uh, sorry it's been a bit of a while since I've given you guys an update. Um, I've uh, been at uni uh, in my final year so I've got a dissertation to be doing. But I'm home this weekend and the aim is to have the engine which we are about to make to the transfer box and gearbox. As you can see it's all here prepped up. We've got an LOF uh, slave, power slave down here to reduce the feel of the clutch pedal. Uh, the clutch fix heavy duty uh, release bearing and all the shafts all nicely greased up all ready to go um, I've balanced the transfer box and gearbox on some bits of wood so that the bell housing is roughly st square on as you can see kind of level um, and hopefully it should bolt up to the engine without too many issues um, I'm currently going to use some just shitty old bolts that I've got but um, I'll go down the store and uh, get some nice ones for the final time but as I'm sure you can imagine it's not going to go into the engine bay just once and uh, so it's going to be quite an involved process this weekend of taking it in and out, uh, making up, fabbing up some brackets and uh, just kind of getting it, getting it sitting in the right place. Right so moving on to the gearbox and prepping it to be mated to the uh, M57, <coughs> I'm now going to be fitting uh, refitting the um, shortened by 10 millimeter uh, sleeve, a clutch fix heavy duty um, uh, a fork, uh, clutch fix heavy duty bearing, and their holding pin, and then a um, I'm going to be using an LOF um, metal clip for the uh, the uh, connecting rod between the fork and the uh, slave cylinder. Uh, so one thing you need to be aware of is when using a heavy duty one they tend to put a bit of plate on it which bulks it out and they have a tendency um, to catch on this lip here. Um, so I've just fitted, actually just fitted that as a tester just to see if it did catch and it does. So uh, what most people do and what I advise as well is to just grind this edge off with an angle grinder with a flappy disc in it uh, which I'm going to do now just just to get rid of that lip and make sure that uh, it's got the clearance for the clutch fork to move smoothly obviously you've obviously you've got to remember when you're kind of mocking it up that obviously the slave holds it central in here so it will have a tendency to drop down and clash even more on this gap but uh, still you don't want to put your gearbox in and find that you've got a pretty shonky clutch movement uh, because your fork is catching on here. So yeah, I'm just going to grind that off now and that will allow me to uh, then refit all those parts. Uh
so as you can see we've pretty much got the gearbox, transfer box and M57 all connected up together. However, um, me being me, um, I completely forgot uh, and it said, does say so in the Synchro and Gearbox's instructions that part of the bell housing, this part here, is going to clash with the starter motor once you bolt it on, which becomes very apparent when you uh, look at it like that. So, what I'm going to do now is Synchro Gearboxes luckily uh, supply basically a cover plate, which I'll show you in a second, which uh, bolts onto here, just kind of covers the area that I'm about to cut out. So, my next step is actually going to be to cut this section of the bell housing out. Um, I'm not entirely sure how mad to go with this, but I presume I'm just gonna try just take this part of it off. Um, so what that's gonna require me to do is undo these, separate the gearbox and engine again, and uh, take the angle grinder to it. Um, I'm obviously gonna have to cover up the areas where I've already got assembly greases. You don't want metal filings all over them. But yeah, so I'm just gonna mark it out with a marker pen now and uh, cut that out. As you can see, the engine is now mounted to the gearbox. As you may have seen during the time lapse, I had a bit of an issue with uh, the LOF power slave not clearing on the adapter plate, uh, which is no bother. All I need to do is just grind a bit of that kind of curled edge that you can see where my thumb is now. Just grind a bit of that back and that will allow it to fit in there nicely. So I'm just gonna do that now and refit it.